hello what's up what's up what's up what's up how are you doing my friends so uh good morning good afternoon good evening um from wherever you're watching us in the world so i'm just going to do a quick recap or uh, you had done a quick a, a market analysis on the 20th of january and price was at this level so we had done a few analyses where we expected the market to head and um, I'll make sure I include the, dis the, the, the video in the description and also put it at the end of, of the, this analysis. And we'll also try and just do a quick analysis of where we expect next week the market to, to head. So last week you had looked at this pair, CHF, JPY, Euro, USD, JP, JP, GBP, JPY, and gold. So I'll try and just do a quick analysis of each pair. So we'll start with gold. We had said that uh, when the market did this big surge upwards on the 19th. Uh, I think it was because of news. It left a lot of, of, of market imbalances and we have of the view that the market will come down to correct the imbalance. Uh, so there was an imbalance here. Then previous to that, there was another imbalance already at this level. And we expected that price would reverse to come to that level uh, because we were looking on a higher uh, scale, we thought that there was nothing much to be filled here, and um, this was another support level. So when price went up, up above this, we thought another destination would be here. And um, let's see now how uh, the, the markets uh, moved from there. So I'll just try to play that because we had said it to come back and occupy those spaces and the gaps. So when I play back, this is how the market moved. Ooh, it went back and occupied all the places that we are anticipating so by friday the markets ended at this place so we we can say that our analysis was correct we got it that um the market um filled those areas and uh, our analysis was true and it was on point so those of us who followed and um who followed the analysis and put trades Hopefully you guys had a very, very, very wonderful week because you harvested, price was here, and by the time we were closing the week, price had gone down. So all the way, let me say, from 1835 up to yesterday, which was around 1782. So those are a good number of pips. Um, and for next week, if I try to project where I think the market will be headed next week, because we have already covered this area, if we move uh, downwards a little bit, um, if the market has to go down, um, I think it will take a lot for the market to move all the way down up to 1751. Uh, but who knows, you know, the market is the market. It does what it wants. And as we always say, there is no analysis that is 100% correct. So for next week, now that this imbalance has already been filled. I'll just try to take it away from the charts and see uh, what will happen for next week. Um, one thing that I can be sure of, when the price was moving downwards, already there's another imbalance that it left here. So this is an imbalance here. There's a market imbalance here, and there's another market imbalance here. So hopefully for next week, we, we expect to be looking at um, selling trades um not selling trade sorry you expect to look at buying trades so that because the market will have to come back and and and, and feel all, all the all the all the imbalance that it left upwards when it was moving downwards so once again uh, the market has it by the time we were closing on friday it has already started correcting itself so <clears throat> for next week i'll be watching the charts and, and and just seeing how price action operates but with specific um, consideration on these areas. There's an imbalance here, and um, I've uh, again reiterated that um, there is an Im market imbalance at this level. So we'll be looking at, at these two levels to see if the market will push itself to correct that. Um, from there, we also had our, our analysis on JP. GBP JPY, so that was on the 20th, 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 should be around the 17th, 19th, 20th, so which was here, and from that we were anticipating price to come back, and it's true, it, it came back up to here, it tested this level around 53,500, then 
retested back. Uh, if you look at this on the Fibonacci retracement tool, this is the 50% level and it retraced back to the 61.8 level and we anticipate the market to move all the way down for, for next week. So for the guys who are who trade JBP, JPY, that's another, also another good area to look at. Um, we also did the same on um, Euro USD. Uh, we started from here and we were anticipating the market to move down. And why was that? Because already we had looked at the trend line. And as we had already mentioned, that price was hitting the trend line and retracing back. And yes, it did that. On the 17th, on the third, 14th, it had already hit the trend line. So from our analysis, there was nowhere the market was going to head. We were anticipating to look for sell orders. And indeed, it came through. Uh, the market reversed all the way downwards. Uh, going into next week, let's try and see if at all we can get any selling opportunities for next week. Uh, the market had already reached this level. Let me just try and see. Uh, since we are still on our uh, trend line, I do expect the market to move downwards up to, I'm looking maybe up to around 1.0800 because there's have the market has to correct this and this was a move that was made in in May last year so hopefully the, the price action and the sellers will push the market down to this so I'll be looking for I still be looking for sell opportunities on the on the on on on, on euro USD if we come to CHF JPY um on a four hour time frame, I love looking at my trades on a four hour time frame or a one on a, or a daily because that's where you get the correct market trend. It's just the same way as Euro USD, um, CHF JPY. Once again, if you look at the trend line, the market hit here on the trend line, which was the 13th of, of January, and it's on, on a downward trend. Uh, I know from here around, around the 25th of January it has been ranging and that's why I had this. So I'm expecting normally if the market ranges for long, it's still consolidating and we're, I'm expecting the market to continue moving downwards. And for me, I'll still be looking at that particular um, uh, analysis because this is also another very important level. This is a very important support level that price uh, played for a very long time. That is from last year on, in November. So I'm expecting price to push all the way downwards for next week. So that is it for me. Um, I'm still, I'll be looking for sell opportunities for next week. There's a lot, a lot. Gold will be looking to reverse. And then JBP, JPY, I'll be looking at selling opportunities because we still have to cover this point. Price is just at 61 level and we expect it to go all the way um up to tp4 which is around 149 and then same the same way as euro us usd i'll be looking at um selling opportunities with the hope that price will move all the way to point 1.0800 so that is it for me uh to you guys let's um practice risk management and uh Happy trading week for next week and uh, see you next week and uh, to see whether we got the analysis correct. Thank you. But well, before I go, just remember that next week is going to be an NFP week. So just be careful, practice uh, trading with risk management and uh, do not over trade. Do not be greedy. You know, the market moves the way it wants to move. All right. Thank you and bye.